I will say it's stressful. I'd say a blur. Just one day at a time. The hardest part for me initially in the beginning was just knowing how best to care for the patients. The hardest part for me has been knowing that our usual stressful job is also potentially life-threatening for me and my wife. Fighting the coronavirus on the front lines is a family endeavor for the Baldwins. This is our class picture from 2004 from the med school. We got married a week after we graduated. They're a husband and wife team at Yukon Health in Farmington. Nobody is afraid. It seems like everybody just put one foot ahead of the other, geared up their PPE. Nobody hesitated to go in and see the patients. Working in the COVID unit, Jennifer is an internal medicine physician. Just a few floors away, Michael is a radiologist. If there's a word that epitomizes their efforts these past nine months, it's sacrifice. Essentially, the hospital became home. When it started, we were we had to come into work to see patients. School shut down. The Baldwins made the decision to move their two children to temporarily stay with Jennifer's sister. March to June, yeah. end of June, yeah. We would go on the we'd weekends and we'd see them. I think it was really hard on them, maybe even more than we realized. Another adjective from the front lines, solidarity. I am so proud of the group of people I work with, from my colleagues, the hospitalists, to nursing, to respiratory therapists, physical therapists. Everybody has come together and stepped up. I've always been impressed with Jen, but I, uh, over the last nine months, I. Uh, yeah, I've been blown away by what she and her colleagues have been through. Their professional opinion? There are hurdles ahead, but none that can't be navigated. What all of our frontliners have gained over the past nine or ten months is experience, as they all now unquestionably prepare for yet another surge. From the beginning till now, there is a change, so we need to all just keep on being safe, wear your mask, wash your hands, socially distance. If we want to have a, a wonderful Thanksgiving season next year, we need to try our best and take care of business this year. It's hard, but we need to do it. In Farmington, Jim Altman, Fox 61 News.